Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a review of my Cezanne collection for 2021 and looking at the pieces that I've purchased from best to worst. I'll be breaking up today's video into different categories. So I'll be sharing the categories which I feel Cezanne make really well and also the categories which can be a bit hit and miss. I'll also be sharing some details on pieces I've returned and the reasons why I returned those. So if you are someone who loves Cezanne, if you love French style, if you love Parisian style clothing, or if you are curious about the brand and are wondering which pieces to potentially make your first purchase, then I really hope you find today's video useful. I will leave my measurements on screen and also in the description box below as well as links to all the items shown in today's video. And before we get into the first category, in terms of the colour palette, you'll probably notice it's very neutral, inspired and cool toned as well. So the main colours that I have purchased from Cezanne are black, white, cream and blue. I feel they personally suit me the best. However, Cezanne do make a lot of their pieces in both the cool tone colours and the warm tone colours as well. So if you are someone that does prefer more of the warmer end of the colour spectrum, then there definitely should still be some of these pieces but in those warm and toned colours for you. One of the things which consistently draws me back to purchasing from Cezanne time and time again is the quality. So I found that for the majority of the pieces that I've purchased from Cezanne, um, the quality has been really high and I've never had to return a piece due to a fault with the item or due to poor construction. The quality is really evident when it comes to Cezanne's pieces. Another thing which I really love about Cezanne is when it comes to the design of their pieces. So I feel that Cezanne really has been able to set themselves apart from a lot of the other premium high street retailers when it comes to their design. So they really have the ability to take what is otherwise a very simple wardrobe basic or wardrobe essential piece and elevate it simply by adding in some different design details. So elements such as lace, ruffles and even buttons and the placement of those details on the items I think is a really key component of how Cezanne set themselves apart when it comes to the design of their pieces and it also just adds that beautiful touch of femininity which I love as well. In terms of pricing, for me I would consider Cezanne to be a premium high street retailer. So their prices I feel are really reflective of the quality and design of their pieces and they're definitely not fast fashion. So it's not a brand which I would say is extremely affordable and conversely it's also not a designer or luxury brand either. So they definitely fall within that premium high street end of the market in terms of pricing. Fabric is another consideration and a point that I wanted to share about Cezanne. So for me personally, before I buy a piece of clothing, I always make sure to check the fabric composition. And one of the great things about Cezanne is that they really do tend to focus on natural fibers when it comes to the materials. So fibers such as cotton, silk, and also wool, they do also have some synthetics as well and sometimes they have worked out really well and other times they haven't worked out so well for me. So I will share more details on that as we get further into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the first category which I feel Cezanne do incredibly well and that is tops. So for me personally, I've only ever had to return one top that I've ordered from Cezanne and that was the Gatsby Stripe Top in the Accru and Red and that was purely because I didn't purchase the right size for me. Everything else I absolutely loved about that top. I think out of all of the tops that I have purchased from Cezanne, my favourite would have to be their Colette Marinière. This is just a quintessential French wardrobe piece, a wardrobe must-have if you love French style. And the surprising thing was when I first ordered this, this was part of my first ever Cezanne order. When it arrived, I actually didn't really love it. I was considering returning it. Um, it's quite a sort of relaxed, boxy fit throughout the body, and it's made from 100% organic cotton. I didn't have an organic cotton piece when I first ordered this, so I was a little bit taken aback by, I guess, sort of the, the heaviness to it and the organic feel. However, 
I have worn it so many times since then and I'm really glad that I gave this piece a chance. It is now one of the most favourite pieces I have in my wardrobe and Cezanne have this in multiple colourways as well. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We've got the, the two little button detail there and I just love this piece. I think this is one of their hero pieces and it's an item which I would 100% recommend especially if you are considering making your first purchase from the brand. Another top which I really love is actually the one that I'm wearing right now and this is their Theodora top. Again, it comes in multiple colorways so they have it in white, black, I think there was a green and a pink one available as well. It's just a very simple wardrobe basic piece, a ribbed sort of knit top. Um, three quarter or elbow length sleeves actually um, but what I love is that we've got sort of the little button detail down the down the front there and you can obviously have versatility with styling when it comes to the neckline this is just a really comfortable piece a very basic piece but the added um, button design element gives it that little twist which I really think is fun another top that I have from Cezanne which I think is really high quality is the Sartus top so this is a really lovely silk camisole and it's got a gorgeously feminine very soft lace detail all around the neckline so I think this is just a really lovely high quality piece that's useful to wear on its own during the warmer seasons and also to use as a layering piece as well. Cezanne also had this in the black and navy colorways as well I'm not sure if they're still available but I just think this is really really gorgeous it's just so feminine with the lace there so I really really love this top if you're after a silk cami then I'd 100% recommend this one another top which I've gotten which I think is pretty good is their Conrad t-shirt so if you're just after again another wardrobe essential then you can't really go wrong with this um, lovely quality very very soft as well and Cezanne do this in multiple colorways so if you are considering making your first purchase from Cezanne then I think the probably the best two tops I'd recommend yeah is the Colette Marinière and the Theodora top Moving on to category number two, which I think Cezanne do incredibly well, and that is their shirts. Now, I do have a couple options here. The first option I think that Cezanne do well is their silk shirts. I have their Chloe silk shirt here, obviously in the white colorway. This is absolutely beautiful, an incredibly popular piece. I think Cezanne's silk shirts, the design details that they have are so feminine and so sophisticated. This one obviously has the ruffle detail around the neckline and down the front placket. There's also different um, silk shirts that they have where they might have like a lace detail on the collar um, or different ruffles placed on the shoulders. So a lot of different options when it comes to Cezanne silk shirts. What I really love about their silk shirts, apart from the different design elements, is just the quality of the silk. So it's incredibly light, incredibly soft, incredibly silky. Um, and yeah, I think that Cezanne is one of my go-tos when it comes to silk shirts. So I'd say if you are thinking again of making a purchase and you're looking for a shirt, you really can't go wrong with one of their silk options. Another shirt which I think they do incredibly well is their cotton standard classic shirt. So this is the tomboy shirt, I'm pretty sure. Um, and again, it's just a very classic sort of straight straight cut fit shirt with the pocket on the front. 100% um, cotton as well, very breathable. This one has a sort of, I'd say, medium texture or weight feel to it. Um, incredibly easy to style, it comes in different colorways as well. This is the first white shirt that I have purchased for probably over a decade. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I ended up going with Cezanne's classic white shirt version. I think it just feels lovely. It's a very sort of reasonable price. Um, and I'm definitely thinking of investing in their light blue colored one as well. Now there was one shirt that I did end up returning and it was the Chloe shirt, but it was in their chambray blue colorway. Um, and I really was attracted to how the white embroidery on the ruffle was offset by the chambray blue color. I thought it was absolutely lovely. I just felt because that version wasn't a silk version, um, it was more of a cotton blend and I didn't really sort of feel that it 
sort of sat on me as well as what the silk version did. So I did end up returning that other Chloe shirt, um, but they do have different fabrics in, in this style. So um, yeah, it was just something that it was a lovely shirt to look at and I was definitely not 100% sure, but I feel for me personally, if I don't really, really love a piece when um, I try it on and if I can't see that it's going to work for me in different styling ways, then I will lean more towards returning it and in place have something that I actually do love and I feel really suits me. So that's why I return that piece. The next category which I feel Cezanne do incredibly well is their denim. So I have ordered three pairs of jeans from Cezanne this year. The first pair of jeans that I ever purchased in my first order was the Brute Sexy Jeans. And this is a classic a five pocket straight leg jean. So definitely a wardrobe must have if you're just after a very chic and um, elegant style of denim. These ones are made from 100% organic cotton. So what I can say is that there's not a lot of stretch to the material and you really do need to make sure that you get the sizing right in these. However, the fabric feels really, really lovely. It doesn't have that sort of rough texture that some 100% cotton jeans can have. It really also has that um, magical lifting ability in this area, which I really, really love. So if you are after a pair of straight leg jeans, I'd highly recommend these ones from Cezanne. The second pair of jeans, which I have from Cezanne, is a pair that is incredibly different. And it's even um, got a very French appropriate name. They are the Le Parisien jeans and I absolutely adore these. These are probably my most favourite pair of jeans at the moment. So these ones are a flared style of jeans and what sets them apart is they've got this really uh, different button detail on the front. It's sort of in like a sailor um, style and there's faux pockets on the back as well but they're not very noticeable. So I just absolutely love these. These fit perfectly sort of around the waist and the hips for me and then they just have that lovely flare that comes out to really balance my top half out. Um, incredibly comfortable. I absolutely love them. They are a little bit different from say the straight leg jeans but I think one of the things that Cezanne do incredibly well is they have such a variety of different denim styles in their range. So whether you're after something that is a straight leg cut a flared cut if you're after just a pair of skinny jeans or maybe paper bag style denim jeans and Cezanne have such a wide range of styles available. The Le Parisien jeans are made from 99% cotton and they've got that 1% elastane so there is a little bit of give to the material but I just think that these are an absolutely gorgeous pair of jeans. If you're sort of not interested in, in the skinny leg jeans and you don't want to sort of go with a straight leg then I think this is a really lovely option. It's just something different. It's a pair of jeans that you won't see on a lot of people walking down the street. And I just think that that makes them incredibly different. And yeah, one of the best jeans that I've ever purchased. Now the third pair of jeans that I purchased from Cezanne, I ended up returning and they're still on my mind to this very day. Subscribers to my channel will probably already know it is the Lucas pair of jeans. They were a really lovely pair of high-waisted denim jeans with a wide leg. They fit great around the waist and the hips. I just felt that they were sort of a little bit too baggy in terms of the legs for me personally, but I mean they're still on my mind. I still sort of wish that I had kept them and possibly just gone to um, the alteration place and had them take them in at the legs a little bit to suit me perfectly. I might still end up purchasing the Lucas jeans in the future if they're still available because yeah the, the style of them was just so lovely and particularly if you do like that that high-waisted style they felt incredibly comfortable as well. So moving on to the next category of items which is trousers and I can't really honestly say whether I think this is one of the best categories um, that Cezanne do all the worst. I'm going to place it sort of in the middle. Um, I've only ordered one pair of trousers from Cezanne but I love them so much that I ended up getting them in multiple colours. So it is the Austin pair of trousers and these are just the lovely high-waisted paper bag style 
with the little sort of um, bow waist tie detail there. They're in a straight leg style as well and they've got functional pockets. So I loved this pair of trousers so much that I also ended up getting these in the grey as well. And this is just a style which I think personally suits me. I am quite petite, so having that sort of um, definition at the waist really sort of helps to emphasize my body shape and the straight leg style is also great, especially um, for work as well. So I really, really love these trousers so much. The one thing I will say is the fabrication um, is different between the two different colors with these trousers. So I'll put the fabric details on screen. I think these had more of a um, viscose or polyester synthetic blend. Um, and these had some wool in the composition. So I think that it would have been probably better if the black ones had had wool in the fabric composition. I would have preferred that a little bit more. Um, but I do think that the overall style or design of these trousers, they're absolutely perfect for me. They are my favorite pair of trousers in my wardrobe. So based on that, I'd say Cezanne do trousers pretty well. But given that that's the only style I've purchased, I can't really comment on the other styles. So if you have purchased trousers from Cezanne, I'd love to hear which ones you'd recommend in the comments below and also which ones you um, thought were a bit of a miss for you as well. And it'd be really interesting to hear what you guys have experienced. So the last category here, which I don't want to say it's the worst, but there's definitely been a few hits and misses when it comes to this, and that is knitwear. Now, knitwear is probably the most favorite part of my wardrobe. I always get slightly a little bit nostalgic for autumn and winter when springtime arrives because I really don't want to pack away all my beautiful and comfortable knitwear. When it comes to Cezanne, I've had a couple of returns for their knitwear. I'm going to talk about the um, knitwear pieces which I really love first. So I think the first one which I'd highly recommend to anyone is their Jacob jumper. Now this is a sort of mock um, turtleneck jumper. So we've got the, the neckline, it doesn't come up too high. Um, but what I love about this is the button detail that we've got on the left hand shoulder. Cezanne have their Jacob jumper in multiple colorways. So this comes in obviously black, there's the white, there's navy, there's a gray color. I think there was a green one and also a camel or tan color as well. So plenty, plenty of colors to choose from. This is 100% merino wool. It is incredibly light, incredibly soft. I don't feel the need to sort of wear anything underneath the Jacob jump at all. You can wear it on bare skin and there's no itchiness factor or anything like that. I just really love it. Um, I've actually ordered this in the white colorway as well. So hopefully that will be arriving next week. Just because when I find a piece that I really, really love, I do tend to purchase it in multiple colors and the Jacob jumper is definitely one of those pieces. The next piece, which I think Cezanne did really well when it comes to knitwear is their Giulia jumper. And this is one I've worn in quite a few of my YouTube videos. I absolutely love this. It's sort of very, very feminine in terms of its design. It's got slightly little puff sleeves um, and they do come down to, I'd say they're probably like an elbow length or almost three quarter sleeve, but you can sort of push it up um, at the sleeve cuff to really give you that puff sleeve effect. I just think it's absolutely adorable with the lovely little pointel um, and knitted detail all around the front and on the sleeves as well. The back is plain there. This is also available in like a really pretty lilac, light purple colorway as well, I think. And yeah, it's just really, really soft. This is a synthetic blend, but the didn't have a very big itch factor when it came to sort of the, the neckline. So this is a knit top that I can definitely wear on my bare skin. It doesn't leave me feeling too itchy at all. And I just think it's really different in terms of its design. I haven't seen many knit tops out there like this one. So I really recommend that one. And moving on to the third piece of knitwear, which I am not sure whether I'm going to keep or not. I wanted to really share this with you. It is their James jumper. And this is one of the, I think one of the most popular pieces when it comes to their knitwear. 
it's lovely to look at. It really is. You've got that obviously Breton, very French inspired style with the navy stripes in the cream background. And there's also the four little um, imitation horn buttons on the left hand shoulder, which again give that really different design element to the overall look. I think some good things about this jumper is when it comes to the material, it's incredibly soft. It is um, mostly wool. The only polyester component is actually the backing of the, the buttons there, but everything, including the navy stripes, is wool. So it's good quality material. It, it does feel soft against the skin. It's incredibly warm to wear as well. One of the downsides to the fabric for the James jumper I found is that it does tend to peel a little bit. So I'm not sure if this will show up on camera. I'll try and insert some cutaways, but I've only worn this a couple of times and I have been pretty disappointed with the, I guess, predominance of peeling that I found with this particular jumper. Another downside for this one, and I think this is probably just more of a personal thing for me, is just I haven't been able to style this in as many different ways as what I would have liked. I did get this in an extra small. Because this is quite, I'd say, a relaxed and chunky style knit, I have found that it does tend to sort of drown me a little bit and I need to probably come up with some more creative ways to style it if I am going to keep it. If you're someone who's a little bit taller, you're not so petite, then I think that this would probably um, work out a little bit better. But yeah, if you guys have any thoughts on um, ways that a petite person can style this knit, then I'd really love to hear. Moving on to a couple of knitwear pieces which I had to return and the reasons that I had to return these pieces was purely down to the fabric and the feel of the fabric against my skin. Um, these were two pieces which I was so incredibly disappointed to have to return and that's why I'm sort of putting knitwear as the hidden miss category here. So the first piece was the Scarlet Jumper. That was just a piece which was too itchy around the neckline. I think it was a um, synthetic blend of materials. I'll put the, the material composition up on screen. And to look at this piece online, it looked so gorgeous and I thought I'll give it a try but when it arrived I literally wasn't even able to stand having it against my bare skin for too long. It was just something I could not wear. We, we did not agree with each other. The second knitwear piece which unfortunately I had to return and which is still on my mind to this very day is their Patty Jumper in Celadon Green. An incredibly popular knitwear piece that sold out in almost all sizes very quickly online. The colour was absolutely divine. I, It's one of my most favourite colours in the world and unfortunately I had to return it because it did have that sort of itch factor along the neckline. I do like to wear a lot of my knitwear against bare skin during autumn and early spring and then I do tend to lay pieces underneath during winter. So I knew that it was a piece that I didn't just want to always have to wear something underneath that wasn't going to fit for my lifestyle. Cezanne have such a huge range of knitwear. There literally is every colour of the rainbow and so many different styles to choose from. It can be a little bit overwhelming especially if you love knitwear as much as I do and if you want to add some new pieces to your collection. If you are considering knitwear from Cezanne, then based on my experience, what I would recommend is to really have a look at the fabric composition and steer more towards those natural fibers if possible. So items such as the Jacob jumper with 100% merino wool, even the James jumper, it's mostly wool. They feel really, really soft and they don't have that itch factor. The synthetic blends, um, this is where it can be hit and miss. This was a hit, but then I've had a couple of misses. One of the great things which I really love about Cezanne is that they do have free returns. So we don't have any Cezanne stores here in Australia. Um, so if you aren't able to actually physically go into a store, if there aren't any in your area, then I think that the fact that Cezanne offer free returns is absolutely wonderful. Um, there are some stores that don't offer free returns. So I think, you know, you are safe in making a purchase and, and knowing that if it isn't right for you, if it's not 
um, right for your size if you're not happy with the fabric or it just doesn't look how you expected it to look then you do have that guarantee that you are able to return it at no additional cost for you and get that refund so I think that's something that Cezanne do really really well it definitely does give me comfort and peace of mind um, to really order online with them it's a brand that I really trust um, and I've ordered 18 pieces in total from Cezanne this year I've only had to return five and that's either being due to the fabric not meeting my expectations or it being a sizing or not a style sort of that I felt really suited me so I think um, 13 out of 18 pieces is a pretty good strike rate really really happy with Cezanne it's a brand that I know I'm going to keep coming back to time and time again the quality of their pieces is is beautiful the designs are, are really feminine and have that touch of something that's a little bit different so yeah really hope you guys have enjoyed um, me sharing sort of the the best and worst pieces of my Cezanne collection I have placed a Cezanne order which I'm hoping will arrive next week so expect a new Cezanne video from me um, in a couple of weeks time if you guys did enjoy today's video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this from me in the future and before you go if you do love Cezanne if you have purchased from them before I'd love to hear which pieces you would actually recommend to anyone who is new to the brand or to anyone else who just loves Cezanne as well it's always lovely to hear which pieces you guys recommend out there because we do all have different tastes we have different body shapes and preferences so i'd really love to hear your recommendations in the comments below so don't forget to share thank you guys so much for making the time to watch and for supporting the channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all with a brand new video next week bye